This is about my attempts to use battery power for powering HO scale models. This is the controller for remote control of the locomotives, direction switch, on-off switch, and a knob to control speed. This particular locomotive is uh, a hybrid of a GE 44 tonner uh, made by Bachmann with the shell from an RDC uh, uh, box cab. The controller uh, controls lights on off uh, for the power for the controller direction of the locomotive and speed, powered by a 9 volt battery with the transmitter inside. Here we go. This is uh, not quite but close to top speed for this particular version. Uh, you can control zero to the max speed, which is about what, what it's going at now. You control the lights, which are directional. We go reverse, the uh, reverse light will come on and it'll back up. You'll notice there's no flickering whatsoever, even when we go through the frog. There's no hesitation through the locomotive, uh, and it's just smooth as silk as it go through. Um, to prove that there's no power on the track and it's completely battery, uh, you can see that the shorting jumper is there. Uh, right across the tracks. We'll slow it down now and approach it. Uh, but there's no power right now in the tracks. When there is power, we'll go and recharge. And here's the, the power inside and how it's uh, laid out. We take whatever power is on the track, rectify it, uh, feed a battery maintainer manager, which uh, feeds a LiPo battery, lithium polymer battery, with a DC to DC up converter to increase the voltage and, and regulate it constantly. And then we control it remotely with the set of drivers actually powering the motors. Notice here, as well as we did with the other one, we're removing the magnets which control the reed switches, uh, magnetic reed switches, which uh, disable the battery so that we don't have to constantly recharge the battery. And it, it prolongs battery life, I hope, a little bit too. Now we're going around uh, my infamous test track. And this particular locomotive has a different internal uh, uh, electronics arrangement. The up converter in this locomotive will actually go up above 12 volts, and it's adjustable. And it's actually only driving one motor. One of the trucks has its motor completely replaced, uh, uh, taken out. Um, again, it has the same kinds of controls. You'll also notice that the caboose is lit interior and with its markers um, uh, by battery power as well. There's no flickering at all, no matter where it is on the layout. It's not deriving any power from the rails. You can see the jumper still across the rails there. And the reed switches, uh, as I said before, en enable or disable the battery uh, internal to it. Both of these, all three of these models, when there is power on the rail, will take the power in any form DCC, DC, even if it was AC, how you do that, I don't know, but if it was AC or DC or DCC, it'll take the power and use that power to recharge the, the uh, battery that's inside the unit. Uh, so it's completely self-contained, and when there's no power on the rails, as there is no power right now in this demonstration, uh, it is the only thing powering uh, uh, the locomotives. Now we'll uh, stop it and slow into the uh, connectors, give you an idea of the low speed control you can get with it. Very smooth, very nice. Hope you enjoyed it and have fun.